Bloodborne pathogens are microorganisms that can cause disease when transferred from an infected person to another person through blood or other potentially infectious materials, OPIM. Common bloodborne pathogens include hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and human immunodeficiency virus known as HIV. Exposure to bloodborne pathogens mostly occurs within the healthcare industry. However, exposure can still occur in other industries, such as anyone performing first aid, workers at wastewater treatment facilities, sewage workers, waste management workers, restroom facility maintenance workers, and workers performing maintenance in areas of high drug use. There are two types of exposure. Direct contact exposure, when infected blood or bodily fluid from one person enters another person's body directly. Indirect contact exposure, when infected blood or bodily fluids infect another person by any way of another object. Universal precautions have proven to be effective in protection from bloodborne pathogens. Universal precautions assume all body fluids are infected. Here is how to use universal precautions. Avoid direct or indirect contact with anyone else's blood or bodily fluids. Always wear disposable gloves when providing first aid care. Dispose of sharps in designated sharps containers immediately after use. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth during or after providing first aid. Remove disposable gloves without contacting the soiled part of the gloves and dispose of them. And thoroughly wash your hands and remove your gloves immediately after providing care. You can encounter bloodborne pathogens while trying to assist an injured coworker who was bleeding. Here's some things you should remember. If someone is bleeding, have them bandage their wound. If they need help, wear disposable gloves. Any gauze or contaminated items should be thrown away in a tightly sealed plastic bag. For serious injuries, call emergency services. If you don't have time to wait, apply universal precautions. Remove disposable gloves. Roll the first glove off the hand inside out and dispose of them properly. Wash your hands immediately. If CPR is required, use a mouth shield to prevent transmission of hazards and report any exposure incidents immediately to your supervisor. If you have encountered blood or other potentially infectious materials, inform your supervisor of how, when, where, and whose blood you came in contact with. If you are exposed, wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water. Wash needle sticks and cuts with soap and water. Flush splashes to the nose, eyes, and skin immediately. Irrigate eyes with water, saline, or sterile flush. Please note, post-exposure treatment may be recommended and started immediately. If work areas or equipment become contaminated with bloodborne pathogens or other potentially infectious materials, clean and disinfect them as soon as possible. If needed, barricade the contaminated area to keep others from inadvertently touching or walking through it. Ensure to wear disposable gloves, clean up contaminated surfaces, tools, equipment, etc. Use special germicidal cleaning product or a solution of one quarter cup bleach in one gallon of water. Be careful not to splash or sling contaminants during wiping or cleaning. If necessary, wear safety glasses, goggles, or a face shield. The best way to prevent bloodborne pathogens from spreading is to be aware of how they're transmitted, use universal safety precautions, and understand how to respond to an injury. For more information, you can refer to OSHA's Bloodborne Pathogen Standard 29 CFR Part 1910.1030. Always follow your company's policies and procedures. For more information, visit us online at jjsafetyllc.com or call us at 866-627-3850.